there, folks. If you like awesome games right here, right, then, then we've got this one right here. This is Onitama. Onitama. Uh, very, very cool. An elegant and simple game of martial tactics. That absolutely is what this game is. Super duper cool. Uh, a lot of... So I, I guess the best way that I can describe this game is if you like the idea of chess, but chess is too much, this is your game, I think. So what you're going to do in this game is you're going to take the play mat, which is fantastic. You're going to go ahead and open it up. It's just a grid right here. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, five by five grid. You've got the blue side and the red side. And so you're going to Throw that on the table, and then you have your master, and you have four uh, little pupils. So you've got your master right here. So this is the master, and then you got four pupils. Those are your pupils. You've got blue and red for each side. And so what you're doing is you're trying to capture the other person's uh, master, or if you can get to their main location, which was on the very end in the middle, if you're able to get to their I can't remember their sacred location or whatever, then you win. So those are the ways you win the game. Now, this is the cool thing. You take all these cards right here, shuffle them on up, and then you take one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna deal one to each, uh, two to each player, and then you've got one uh, that's just down, kind of off to the side of the board. And so let's say these are the five cards we've got. We've got the cobra, we've got the boar, the dragon, the goose, and the monkey. And so this is going to be how you can move throughout the game. Just, just these five um, movements. And so I'm going to have two in front of me, the cobra and the boar. Let's say you've got the goose and the dragon. These in front of you. And then we got the monkey off to the side. So you're going to choose one of your two. I, I feel like this is getting out of hand a little bit. You're going to pick one of your two. Let's say you choose this. So this little black spot right here is where your people would be. And so you could move uh, up one and over two. And so, or you could move uh, back one and to the left one or back one and to the right one. So you could choose, hey, I'm gonna move this guy up one and over two. I'm gonna go ahead and take that movement. And then you put that in the middle and you take the monkey. So now you have the monkey. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna play the boar. So I play the movement on that card, then I take the monkey. So we're kind of, as we're going through these different movements, we're kind of trading them back and forth. So you're looking at my movement options. I'm looking at your movement options. And then we're both looking at the other movement that's out there. And we're thinking, huh, if I move in and use this one, I know I'm going to have to get rid of this, which eventually you're going to get that card that I put there. So very, very interesting, just cycling through these movement options, knowing that they're fairly limited, but really cool game. I love the fact that it really does uh, kind of give you for someone that's not like a grand master, it gives me a lot of the same feel of chess, but it's not as long. It's super, super fast. I don't know what they say for game time here. 15 minutes. It, it really is a, a game that moves and it works really, really well. I think the design and all the pieces and everything are really nice as well. So uh, Onitama, really, really great game. Hopefully that gives you a nice little touch and a taste of what it is, what it does, and why it may or may not be right for you. Thanks.